Women still do stuff to assist you in making your move and you being more switched onto that is gonna allow you to have more opportunities in your dating life. Hi, I'm dating coach Hayley Quinn and welcome to this new mini series created to celebrate the launch of my new program, Attraction Point. In this video, I'll be using an example from module two, presenting yourself as a potential partner of my Attraction Point program. One of the biggest misconceptions in dating is that women don't make any effort at all to meet men, that we just live in this buffet of choice around dating and we just sit back, look pretty and reject people and that's our whole role. As a coach who works with both men and women, I can really tell you this is not the case. And it's really important for you actually to step outside this mindset of thinking it's all on me um, in order to have better interactions with women. This video is all about the three subtle signals that she is making an effort to meet you. However, if you feel like you might be focusing on the wrong women, check out my video about stopping, chasing and starting selecting. I put a link in the bio beneath this video. So anyway, onto these three signals that she wants you to make her, your move. So remember, when she's sending you these signals, she is doing something. It might not be walking over to you and being like, hey baby, what's your number? But she's do not doing that because she doesn't want to take your role away from you. And there's so many reasons for this. Women might worry about being judged, about being too open about the fact they're attracted to you. She might just not know if she even likes you that much yet. She might just be having a glimmer of attraction. Uh, it could be that she wants to see how you interact with her, uh, if you like her enough to walk over to her. There's just a lot of reasons in the on and offline world why a woman's signals are more subtle. If we go back into history, oh no choke, women would be using their fans to demonstrate if they were open to talking to a guy or dropping a handkerchief so he could pick it up for them. And we may not be living in a Jane Austen novel now, but women still do stuff to assist you in making your move and you being more switched onto that is gonna allow you to have more opportunities in your dating life. Now, before I give you these three signals, I do have to issue a little bit of a warning here that all of these signals are context and environment dependent. Just because you think you've seen a woman doing one of these signals, it does not mean that she has 100% decided that you're the guy for her. So remember, if you do interact with a woman and she expresses any signs of discomfort, just get out of there. There's lots of reasons why she may not be comfortable interacting with you that are not a reflection of you, but ultimately remember you need to be saving that time and energy to focus on women who are really open to the same things as you are. So signal number one is she hangs around <laughs> and waits for you. So maybe as you're getting out of class, whether that's at like a college or a fitness class, do you notice her loitering around? Is she perhaps giving you some eye contact as well? Sometimes women might do something which is sexually entitled the coital gaze, which is where they look, look away and look back. If she's sending you those eye contact signals and is hanging around in your personal space and is taking an awful long time to roll up her yoga mat, then this could be a sign that she's open to talking to you. And in these circumstances, you don't need this like heroic opening line. You can just say something based on the, what you're both participating in, something like, you know, it, it always takes me forever to leave class two, can show empathy and it's a very neutral way to get a conversation kick started and to test the water to see if she wants to explore that anymore with you. Your second signal is that she indicates some availability. So newsflash, if she's been giving you the runaround about saying that maybe she'll be free in like two weeks time once she's finished this paper or when, Venus is in the fourth constellation. I don't know, if there's like some big convoluted excuse around him not seeing you and it's a maybe, I would just probably read between the lines there that again, for whatever her reasons, she's just not that open to dating you right now. That's cool, let it go. If however, a woman is doing the opposite of that, maybe she's telling you that her weekend plans got canceled or um, her friend can't make it to something or that she hasn't got much going on or she's just relaxing or she's chilling or, you know, that she might head down to this particular party. These could all be ways of saying, hi, I'm free, I don't have that much going on. You can ask me out if you want. So remember to be able to pick up on these social cues and again, be ready and willing to come in there and suggest a plan. Third way that she could indicate to you that she is open to getting to know you better is she might be interacting with you differently online. 
could maybe she follows a social media account, you notice how watching your stories, she gives you a like, she sends you a message out of the blue to see how you are. All of these things could be signaling, again, I'm becoming more engaged and more curious about who you are. Now, as I said, none of these signs is a sign that she's already chosen you as a boyfriend or a sexual partner. It might just mean that she's open to exploring this connection with you more. A lot of the time, her attraction to you will be a reaction to how you interact with her. And I know this is where the tough bit comes for you as a guy because then it's on you, right, to communicate intentions. It's, gonna, it's on you to kind of make this happen. And it can be tough to know how direct or indirect you should be. Should you be direct and be masculine and strong and just go tell her what you want? Or is that actually creepy and too much? And should you be way more subtle and just try and establish a friendship with her first? Sometimes both of those options can sound and feel wrong. Sometimes you may have done the friend thing too much and so then you go much more direct and find that that's not working for you either. That's why as a coach, I really love to teach guys a third way of communicating their intentions to a woman, which balances off being socially intelligent whilst also clear enough um, about what your intentions are. Good news is I've condensed the best of these learnings into a short and free video mini course that you can get at hayleyquinn.com forward slash attraction. So head over there if you want more information on this and three exact examples of phrases that you can use to communicate your intentions and supercharge some attraction with her. Don't go on your dates without it, okay? And I will look forward to seeing you again in another video.